wishy wishy washy wishy wishy washy now i'm clean now i'm clean oh hi friends uh we are gonna do a cooking show here today because we have this really sweet kitchen set up right here in the library now i know not everyone has this awesome kitchen at home which is totally okay you guys can do cooking from home too by using your imagination you can draw your own stove if you want you can pretend with boxes and you can make imaginary ingredients however you can come up with them so you're welcome to make some great recipes from home too but we thought we'd get you started with an excellent recipe right here at medford public library today now i do want to say that if you are doing actual cooking at home you definitely want an adult to supervise which is why i have tamar here to help me out so, uh, I don't know. I guess if I'm doing cooking, I need a recipe? Is Here's that? One. Ooh, a cookbook. That seems good. These are like real actual recipes, Tamara. Well, if you're going to cook. Yeah, I want this one. Different book. Okay, what about this one? Vegetables. Nope. Okay, maybe that one? Ooh, sugars and fats. Yeah, this is information. It doesn't tell me how to make stuff. All right, how about that? Perfect. Composting. <laughs> huh, this seems like the perfect recipe book. I think let's make this one right here. Looks good. It's a ham sandwich. So, first things first, if we got a ham sandwich, I need my... Uh, plate. And then, what's the first ingredient in a ham sandwich, Tamar? Bread? Uh, no, we don't need bread. Banana? No, don't need banana. Taco? Yes, we'll start out with a nice taco layer on our ham sandwich. You're going to want to make sure that's nice and, um, smooth and flat so you roll it out um, you might want to you might want to pat it with a spoon a couple times and then um, and then and then we need our next bit um, uh, it's a ham sandwich so I need some hamburger found a cow maybe too fresh can we get something else Found a penguin. Perfect. We're going to stick our penguin right on top of our taco. And yeah, we got to make sure it's nice and flat. <laughs> so we're uh, flatten it out a little bit. All right. Use this uh, pot with holes in it. And I think that's good. What else do we need? Fish. Excellent. Penguin, fish, taco. We need something for the top, though. And a waffle. I think this uh, ham and cheese sandwich here is just about perfect. I just need one more ingredient. Do you have any toilet paper? Last one. Sweet. This is going to just go over here. <laughs> and I guess we now know how to make a ham, and a ham and cheese sandwich. And you can make your very own ham and cheese or penguin and fish sandwich from home. Uh, please let us know what sorts of recipes you're coming up with and at the very end of this video if you're cooking for real we have a super easy drop noodle recipe that you can you can do from home uh, if you are using real cooking utensils please have an adult a responsible adult with you otherwise I hope you guys are having a wonderful day stay safe and healthy at home make sure to wash your hands 20 seconds and don't lick doorknobs. Thank you.